In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the ISO aperture and shutter speed on the Nikon D3400. And if you want to learn a lot more about D3400 and photography in general, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the playlist up here. Now on the Nikon D3400, if you want to change ISO aperture and shutter speed, you of course need to be in manual mode on your mode dial. And the first setting we're going to look at is the ISO. Now by default, this camera comes with automatic ISO enabled, which means the camera is going to change the ISO for you based upon the lighting you're shooting in. If you want to control the ISO yourself and take control back from the camera, you first have to turn off auto ISO. You do that by going into the menu system, navigating to the camera menu, and finding the ISO sensitivity settings, which is on the first camera menu page. In there, you can turn off the auto ISO sensitivity option. You can also change your ISO right here, but this is the least efficient way to change your ISO. There are two other ways to change your ISO when shooting in manual mode. The first and most efficient is to press and hold the function button on the left side of the camera while spinning the rear control dial. And as you can see, as I'm holding the button and spinning the dial, the ISO function is changing. You can also change it by activating the quick menu on the back of the camera by pressing the this italicized I button on the lower left and then navigating with the directional pad over to the ISO function and then hitting OK to enter that and change the ISO setting. To change your aperture you need to press and hold this button right here on top of the camera and spin the rear control dial. And finally to change your shutter speed you just spin the rear control dial. There are no buttons to hold or push just spin that Rio dial and it'll change for you. And if you have any questions about the D3400, check the playlist up here in the card. And if I haven't answered your question in any of those videos, then let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for great photography videos and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a single one of my videos. And then grab your D3400 and get out there and take some damn photos.